talking about? There's that shit where you got no money in your pocket, but you got million dollar dreams and shit. Let's make it out. I do it big, baby, baby. Grinding way too fucking hard like kids up in that basement. Huh. I'm complicated like juveniles in that placement. That's why I throw my hood up while you throw that in that place. This is how I need a minute. Born to be a menace. Graffiti up in minutes. You a soldier, I'm lieutenant. Respect me. Call me just that AK flow. I like my jewelry. Rocky like an ASAP show. What's up guys? So a lot of people have been asking me why did I get rid of the S2K or they're saddened by the fact that I got rid of it. And the main reason I got rid of it was to buy a Skyline R32. So I had a deal with this guy. Um, I was going to buy the R32 off of him but he ended up selling it. So I got rid of the S2K and then I couldn't get the R32 that I wanted. So I ended up getting an Evo 8 with about 490 horsepower. I got rid of that and then I got um, a 04 Subaru STI and then I got rid of that and then I found this gem right here which my buddy Migs FD, thank you so much, he got me the car, he sold me the car. Uh, it had a lot of sentimental value to him and he did not want to get rid of it. We went back and forth for about two to three months and he finally decided to let her go. And so I really appreciate that and I wanted to thank you. Uh, his Instagram is right here so make sure you give him a follow. He is legit. He's a legit homie. Legit friend. He really hooked it up. He didn't want to sell this car but he ended up selling it to me anyways. Um, so yeah, that's why I got rid of the S2K. Um, so starting from the bottom, I got the S2K late 2016, October or November. Uh, I started, I literally went to, uh, it was close to San Diego and I live in Lancaster, California. So that's about three to four hours away. Uh, so I drove out there, it was about midnight when we headed out there. I didn't get home till about three, no, it wasn't, no, it was about nine o'clock actually when we went out there and I didn't get home till about three in the morning. Um, so two weeks after I got the car, two weeks after, uh, I was driving home and a lady decided to make a left turn in front of me and, so, give me a second. So I was going straight like this and she was coming this way and she decided to make a turn like that and boom. So that ended up messing up the car and messing me up for a while. I took the car to a body shop in the valley. I had it there for a month and a half or about two months and they did not touch the vehicle so I ended up pulling it out and bringing it to Lancaster to shop out here and they ended up fixing the car within three to four months and within that time frame I ended up uh, doing a lot of research I really liked the look of the circuit garage s2000 and I did a lot of research on that and I ended up um, getting the circuit garage flares and building from there but with my own twist uh, it took me a, it was like getting home doing a lot of research going back to work getting home doing a lot of research so it was a lot of work trying to figure out how to build a car trying to figure out what parts to put on it or whatnot or to make it look the way I wanted it to look and especially the rear diffuser it took me forever to figure out what rear diffuser was on that circuit garage s2000 and if you guys want to know what diffuser that is, go ahead and hit me. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me. But you got to follow me. And I'll go ahead and tell you what that diffuser was. It took me about three months to figure it out. Um, and it's off of a different car. So I, we had to make a custom, um, custom brackets for it. And huge shout out to Andy Frankenstein for helping me out with that. Because he really made it sturdy where it wouldn't move. So go ahead and follow him on Instagram, Andy Frankenstein. Uh, he's a shit. He's really good at what he does. Um, he also installed uh, some carbon flares that I got from V9 Racing. And they hooked it up as well. So thank you guys. Um, they're really cool people. I mean, sometimes people take a, like, they take a while to send you your stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes they get it too fast. But that's understandable because they do have a lot of work. And a lot of people that make carbon parts, if you haven't noticed, take a while to get your stuff to you because they have to custom make it and it takes a while. It's not just overnight, the part's done, get it out to him. It's not like that. So I understand that fact and I wanted to thank them a lot for hooking me up and helping me out. Um, the thing, the S2000 was at that body shop for four months. I did all the research and then I ended up 
getting parts little by little, either finding them on Facebook or Craigslist or buying them new or getting half off and supporting other companies and showing off their products at shows. So the first show was AutoCon in Formula Drift, Long Beach. Uh, I believe it was 2017. I ended up going there. The car was painted like a Mika Teal off of the 06 Scion TC, I believe it was. Not sure of the year, but it was that color. So I ended up wrapping the vehicle because the brand new paint was peeling. So instead of getting the whole car repainted, I, I went ahead and wrapped it myself because that's what I do for a living. So I went ahead and did that and did the psychedelic, 3M psychedelic wrap on it. Um, I had plenty of choices, but that's what I decided to go with. With this car, the RX-7, I will be doing a color that's not really out there. <clears throat> You don't really see it at car shows or I don't think I've ever seen it at a car show to be honest. Um, so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I can't really tell you guys much about it. I wish I could. But it's going to have some sort of design to it and that's all I could say. So I put a little short clips of the S2K and how it used to look and all the de you can see all the detail and parts to that build and just see get an idea of how this one will look. It's not going to look the same but it's gonna look a lot better I promise you that so stay tuned keep posted we'll for make that. another video of the APR mirrors and installing them it's quite easy to install them um, and if you guys really don't know how I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it um, it's just a lot of tedious work with lining up the mirrors to your point of view and it's speaking about the view they have an amazing view you could actually see better out of the APR mirrors and the OEM they have a wider range even though they're so small you can see a lot better and a lot more you can see your blind spots which is what why I love them yeah there that's why I got the mirrors you can see a wider range of view with the roll cage and all the parts that are gonna be in this vehicle it's gonna be kind of hard to see through this back window so that's why I need those mirrors to check out the blind spots and it's a lot easier to drive around with that so yeah it's gonna be pretty sick so just wait but thanks to my buddy Migs and thanks to the guy for flaking out on me now I have this beauty right here and another thing I wanted to address is people say oh um they say oh well you should get a authentic parts nothing but authentic and this this and that I understand if you mean by authentic by buying a replica of authentic parts yes I understand that go ahead and get the authentic part but if it's a matter of fact of uh, a small company making carbon fiber parts that nobody else makes just because they're not a big name brand doesn't mean you can't buy it don't listen to what people say at the end of the day it's your build it's your money do whatever you want with it screw what other people think and that's the way I see it um, because at the end of the day whether this small company or this big name brand company made the carbon and it's made with the same quality and same um, same thickness same materials it doesn't make a difference there it's the same shit just different names but I, I do understand when people say do not buy replica rocket bunny kits or replica this yes I get that because people work hard to make stuff and then people go ahead and copy that and that's understand at the end of the day so do whatever you like it's your money your build don't let people control what you want to do with your car or where you choose to spend your money at at the end of the day they're not paying for it you are so just remember that they're not paying for shit you're paying for everything no matter what they say screw what they fucking think it's what you you're fucking hard earned money so you do whatever the fuck you want with it right don't let people fucking get in your head and fucking tell you to do this, tell you to do that, because fuck them, right? So yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to leave the short clips of the S2K, a little walk around, show you guys how I did this build. Not how I did it, but a short walk around, little clips of the S2000, uh, so you guys could see it in a video form instead of just pictures. But if you guys want to see the pictures of the build from beginning to end, most of the build was recorded in pictures so go ahead and check out my instagram go like my pictures comment tell me what you think of the build and yeah so i'm gonna leave this here 
at range. Keep on rotating. Peace.